Let's break down six sneaky starts heading into week nine of 2024 fantasy football. These players may be on your bench. They may be on the waiver wire. They may be players that you just don't really consider on a weekly basis. But I think due to matchups or new opportunities here in week nine, they may present some sneaky upside and you may have to consider them in your starting lineup. All right, let's start with Austin Eckler of the Washington Commanders. So couple things going on here. Austin Eckler has done uh, almost next to nothing the past two weeks with 7.8 or less fantasy points in his last two games. But we've got Brian Robinson listed as uh, questionable going into the week with a hamstring injury. So we could see Eckler step up and be the RB1 this week. And even not, we could see more involvement from Austin Eckler just due to the injury to Brian Robinson in general. So we definitely want to keep up with uh, the health of Brian Robinson as the week goes on. But this Giants team, while they've been pretty solid against the run, uh, they've also started to look a little bit poorer as the season has gone on. And they just gave up 16.1 fantasy points this past week to Najee Harris. He had 114 total rushing yards and three catches against them. And they just looked like Swiss cheese out there against the Steelers defense. So, or excuse me, the Steelers offense and Najee Harris. So overall, I think Austin Eckler, dependent on the health of Brian Robinson going into the week, could be a really solid play. But we're definitely going to have to try and kind of monitor what goes on with Brian Robinson Jr. and what his status looks like. Eckler still sits at 79% rostered, so unlikely you're going to get him off the waiver wire. But we see this injury hold Brian Robinson back. We could be looking at a big week for Austin Eckler here in week nine. Next up is Raheem Mostert of the Miami Dolphins coming off of a game where he had 16 fantasy points, found the end zone twice. He now has double digits in two out of his last three games. And in week seven, while it wasn't uh, pretty by any stretch with just three fantasy points, he did have 11 touches, 450 rushing yards, and 4.5 yards per carry. So the Dolphins are starting to get Raheem Mostert a little bit more involved here again. And this is a smash matchup against the Buffalo Bills run defense. It's been awful on the season. They were pretty good last week. Don't get me wrong. They held Kenneth Walker to a very poor overall day. But the nice thing this past week for Mostert was we saw him get a lot of that goal line work, and we could easily see Mostert stumble into the end zone again this week. So he does sit at 77% rostered. Unlikely you're going to get him off the waiver wire, but if you are hurting at the running back position, Raheem Mostert could be in line for a nice double-digit fantasy performance here in week nine. One sneaky line on underdog that I really like this week is Raheem Mostert's total rushing attempt sitting at just 8.5. He has hit that number in the past three games, and I don't see any reason why he won't hit it this week as he continues to get more involvement in the running game for the Dolphins. So I would head straight to underdog, take the over on Mostert's total rushing attempts, and all new users who sign up with promo code the catch are receiving a free NFL pick em from underdog going into week nine's action. Take your free pick em, take this Raheem Mostert line. Once both of them hit, you're going to triple your cash entry. And on top of that, all new users who sign up with promo code the catch, which that link is down below, are also going to receive a 50% deposit match up to $1,000 on underdog. Starting back, I'm going to mention is Rashad White of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who I know a lot of you guys might say, well, he's been pretty solid the past two weeks. I'm probably starting him either way, but I don't know. I feel like Rashad White gets more hate than any player in fantasy football, but he has been really solid the past two weeks, 15 or more fantasy points in the last two games, five or more catches in the last two games, 38 receiving yards or more in the past two games, and a touchdown or more through the receiving game in the last two weeks as well. So the main thing is he gets very heavily involved in the passing game. And I think this week against the Chiefs, although the matchup's very bad, the Chiefs have given up the fewest fantasy points to the running back position so far on the season. I think that Rashad White could benefit because he does get involved in the passing game. And if the Chiefs are doing what they are, you know, we assume they're going to do, stopping the run, that might open up things for more packages where Rashad White has to come out and 
catch the football. Now, it is worth noting that Bucky Irving got involved in the passing game this past week as well with seven targets, seven catches, 40 receiving yards. But the other thing to bear in mind here is that, yeah, we got no Chris Godwin the rest of the season. We got no Mike Evans for the time being. And so these other players uh, at the running back position, at the tight end position, have to step up for the Kansas City Chiefs. So I think Rashad White, could be in line, seriously, for another double-digit performance this week. So Rashad White's hanging out on your bench. Depending on who you own, I think he could end up being a very sneaky start this week who should be in your starting lineup as we go into Week 9. All right, moving along to wide receivers, let's start with Xavier Leggett of the Carolina Panthers, who's moved up to 44% rostered but could still be hanging out there on the waiver wire if you need some help at the wide receiver position this week. And so we know Deontay Johnson has been traded to the Ravens, and we do have the potential for Adam Thielen to be elevated off of IR as he has been uh, practicing in a limited capacity. But either way, this should lead to more targets for Xavier Leggett and should lead Xavier Leggett to be the primary wide receiver one for the Panthers. Now, a lot of people looking at Jalen Coker as well, but I do like Coker. He's had 10 or more fantasy points in two of the last four games. They kind of scored that garbage time touchdown against the Broncos, really elevated his total stat line for the day. I think he's a good player to pick up. He sits at 5% rostered and stash. But I think overall in the season, the player we've seen more production out of has been Xavier Leggett. And I know people are also going to say, well, I don't know, I like Bryce Young starting this week. Sure, there's always garbage time, and it's a good matchup against the Saints, giving up the 23rd most fantasy points to the position so far on the season. So I think Leggett could be a solid option this week. He's had double digits in three out of the last four games, three touchdowns, which is me, three of the last five games, three touchdowns in the last five games as well. So good matchup here. No more Deontay Johnson. We'll see if Adam Thielen, Jalen Coker, how much they get involved, don't get involved. But ultimately, I like Xavier Leggett as a sneaky option at wide receiver going into week nine. Next up is Darius Slayton of the New York Giants, who is coming off a big performance. 14.8 fantasy points in week eight, seven targets, four catches, 108 receiving yards, led the team in receiving yards in week eight. He gets a good matchup this week against the Washington Commanders. Now, Slayton had that big catch early in the game against Pittsburgh. You take that away. We're not looking at much here. And then we look at the matchup this week. It's good on paper, but this commander's defense is moving up in terms of rankings, in terms of their secondary and points allowed to the wide receiver position. But I think that could benefit Slayton because I think that defensive pressure is going to go to both neighbors and Robinson. When we look at the wide receivers on the Giants, we got Tyrone Tracy banged up with that concussion. So some players are going to have to step up this week. We're probably going to be looking at garbage time for the Giants. They're on the road here. And overall, I just think this could be one of those games where we kind of look back and say, oh, Slayton had 10, 11, 12 fantasy points. So I'm not expecting anything crazy, but he sits at 23% rostered. The matchup is good on paper. And like I said, the commanders improving on defense. They have looked good. I do like the commanders defense this week, but I think Slayton could be the odd man out here who gets a big play or two and ends up with a solid fantasy stat line in week nine. Right, last but not least is Khalif Raymond of the Detroit Lions. And he does set at just 4% rostered. And I think he's a really good stash right now. We know there's no Jamison Williams on this team at the moment, at least here in week nine. And this is a competitive matchup. You know, we look over the past three weeks, whether it's been a blowout for the Lions or a competitive divisional matchup, Khalif Raymond has found a way to get it done. 11.3 fantasy points in week six, 12.9 in week seven, 15.4 in week eight, two touchdowns in that stretch, and then a touchdown in the return game as well. Um, actually, two touchdowns in the return game this past week, excuse me. So, this is a player who's, I think they're going to find a way to get him utilized in this big matchup against the Green Bay Packers this week. And this offense just doing all kinds of stuff. Khalif Raymond's been a big beneficiary of that. It's a tough matchup on paper. But once again, this could be one of those matchups where it kind of opens up things for Khalif Raymond while that defensive pressure is being applied to Monty, Gibbs, Amon Ra, Sam Laporta, all those guys. If Raymond this past week really stepped up in the absence of Jamison Williams with 15.4 
fantasy points. Wasn't crazy involved or anything, but was definitely the second most involved wide receiver when we break down the numbers. You know, got Tim Patrick next. You got Isaiah Williams, Allen Robinson. These guys are doing next to nothing where Khalif Raymond is being used in ways that are unique and they're finding ways to get him the football. So you need a really sneaky start this week. Khalif Raymond is your guy as he sits at just 4% rostered. And that'll do it for today's video. There's six sneaky starts heading into week nine of the 2024 fantasy football season. Don't forget, guys, I'm answering all fantasy football questions in the comment section down below. If you guys need anything whatsoever moving into the week, drop me a comment. I'll get every comment answered before Sunday slate of games. Don't forget, guys, we got everything you could possibly need here on the channel for week nine of 2024 fantasy football. So make sure you guys are checking out all of the videos. But more importantly, make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of the content. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching and or listening. And remember, saw it here on the catch.